what are the people or who are the people that you surround yourself with the most I mean the regular people maybe it's your inner circle that you have we all have a circle of people or a following or a group of people who we surround ourselves with the most so the question today is who do you surround yourself with the most and are these people that you surround yourself with what are they doing are they either inspiring you to be the best you can be or are they draining you so when you use OQP only quality people and why do we say only quality people because as you're growing and building a lifestyle and building a business and building a, a following or a mastermind or whatever you're doing you want to ensure that you're surrounding yourself with the people that are going to benefit you the people that are going to encourage you and the people that are going to help you and not hold you back so it's really hard when it's people that are maybe we there are dearest and dearest friends and we've known them forever and we've always hung around these people and we listen to what they're doing and we listen to what they're saying but are you going anywhere are they doing anything to inspire you to be the best you can be people will either inspire or they will hold you back or they will drain you it's hold on here pop up come up people will they don't know they're doing it it's just what their lifestyle is people will either inspire or drain you so look at the people around you look at the people that are in your closest knit circle and ask yourself is this person inspiring me or are they draining me inspire or dreams I'm getting this down here for you guys because I want to help you as best I can or drain you ah. and I never claimed to be the best speller on the planet and I'm still not okay so and the reason why we're going through this today is because in this mindset world that we're in and mindset has become more relevant and it's become more of a encouragement and it's become more known in this phase of life that we're all in in this century so as we're going through this and I want to just go over a few tips here that are going to help you to determine if the people you are hanging around with people maybe you're associating with and maybe it could also be you know the people that you're physically friends with that you're physically associating with and then the people that you are online with on social media with these people anyone out there that is not encouraging inspiring you anyone that is draining you I want you to ask yourself I'm not going to tell you what to do I just want you to ask yourself what is the benefit I am receiving from this so when you do when you see this and you feel this and you know what's going on you will know what actions to take because it's all up to you it's your life it's your success it's what you do so one thing I want to tell you about is there's three different little steps here and is ready are we ready for number one is are they thinking remember when are the people you're hanging around with whenever someone says something that they're doing does that person that, you, that you're thinking of right now or that you're that you seeing if they're either a benefit or a non-benefit to you are they one of these people that says well I remember when or do you remember when I did that or when we did that and when that happened and I remember when I was doing that and I had a similar thing happen to me and the conversation always turns to them you're trying to tell them something that you're doing or maybe you're watching a program on TV or you're watching a movie 
and something comes up and immediately that person says well I did that then and I did this that that's not really a cool that is a person that's living in the past so you judge that for yourself that is a person that cannot get forward or move forward in life and they're gonna stay right where they're at so that is number one so if you are looking at those that person or those people sometimes just more than one of them in our lives and their thinking is you remember when or I did that when or oh I had that happen to me that is a person that is living in the past they are never gonna go anywhere unless they get out of that that rut okay number two ready the now people the people that are only focused on right now they're only focused on what they're doing right this minute they're only focused on now I've got this going and now this is happening now this is what's happening and now this is what I'm doing that's okay but that's only focused in the now and we all want to focus in right now granted we want to know what's going on what we're doing what we're creating but if you can't move forward where are you going so if you're in that phase two if you have people in your circle that are in only phase two what is that doing for you this is all about you you are not in control of anyone else's lifestyle or anyone else's being you're only in control of yourself and who you surround yourself with is what's going to benefit you and so number three is are you around people who are in the now moving forward are you around, around people who are maybe they're saying okay right now I am creating this course and I'm building this and this is going to take my business to this level it's going to grow me it's going to increase my income that is a person that will only work for now and the future what do you think of that is that the person that you really want to be with is that a person that you want to spend time with you want to learn from that you want to absorb their energy and what they've got going on I'm gonna like I said I'm leaving all of this up to you to make a choice and decide what you want to do but for me personally and I'm getting back to this me thing but in coaching and in teaching and in what I'm doing in my life and that's part of that thing you, you want to hang around with someone that's always doing that so what we can say is I love to be in the now moving forward I love being where I'm at right now because it's a plan for the future it is a focus on I'm going to build this course today and I'm going to sell it and I'm going to make revenue and that is going to increase my income for my future that is going to increase my income for tomorrow and the next day and the next day and 10 years down the road I'm making this course so that it is going to enable itself to help everyone when you do that and when you have that mindset what person do you want to be with do you want to hang around the person that is only living in the past their whole focus and everything they do is in the past or do you want to hang around the person that's only in the now that's only right now this is happening this is doing I'm not don't have a vision don't have a vision on what's going to happen or do you want to have friends and associates that are living in now for the future it's up to you but these are the three different areas of quality people that you want to hang around with and you always want to ask yourself if you are in a conversation with someone or you meet someone and your immediate thoughts of you know you meet them and you're like oh well, I'm, I'm working on this and blah 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 and if they automatically say well I did that or I did this blah 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 how does that make you feel what is your first impression is that person inspiring you or is that person going to drain your time a time vampire either or but either way either way you look at it or either way you do it it's only you that is affected because you are the main focus of 
what you need to work on. You don't need to work on anyone else. You don't need to focus on anyone else. You only have to focus on you and what you're doing and the success you want to have. So when you surround yourself with people who are encouraging you, who are inspiring you to grow, these are people that aren't threatened by you. These are people that want you to exceed them. These are people that want you to grow and to be the best you can be. Wouldn't you rather spend your time around people like that than people who are draining you? This is a benefit here because when we know, and a lot of times we don't know exactly why we get in a rut or why we get drugged down, a lot of times it is because the people we surround ourselves with. And it's really hard when you surround yourself with people who are bringing you down, who are dragging you down. When you do that, it is really hard to move forward and to grow when you're all constantly being brought down. Or maybe you've got a super bestie, bestie friend that you don't want to exceed. You're afraid you're going to lose your friends if you make $100 million or if you make $20 million or whatever the matter the amount is, even if it's $100,000. And you're afraid you're going to lose this friend if you make a lot more money than they do. If your friend is not going to be encouraging you and saying, oh my gosh, you are doing a great job. You are, you are doing fantastic. What are you doing? Maybe I can do that. That is a good friend that will encourage you and inspire you. And that's what you need. So when you believe that you're doing the best you can do and to know that you are growing and surrounding yourself with the right people, then what is going to happen for you? You're going to grow and you are going to keep going and you are going to inspire someone else. So one thing you can ask yourself is when you meet a group of people or when as you're expanding and you're growing and your business is growing and you're becoming in more groups, maybe pe more people are listening to you, or maybe you are listening to the right people now and therefore you're being seen. Do you know that everyone out there who is in a group or who is whatever you're doing, you're being followed on social media in some way or another. So one thing that you can ask yourself, and this is up to you again, am I giving value to the marketplace? Am I inspiring the people I'm talking to? Am I encouraging people to be the best they can be? Or am I draining people's time? Am I one of the time vampires that's just out there cruising the social? These are just some questions you can ask yourself to see if you are growing in the right direction, if you're doing what you need to do to be the best you can be. And grow, keep going, keep stepping out, keep expanding. Keep learning more every day. When you learn more every day, when you learn different tasks, different strategies, one stat strategy, a strategy may not work for you, or maybe it didn't work for you that way. It is going to work for you another way. It's only you can tweak anything, even if it's something you bought. If you bought a course from somebody and there's something about it that's not working for you, Switch it up. Fix it. You bought it. It's yours now. As long as you don't spam it, like, you know, you're going to get in trouble by doing, then change the wording. Change what you need to do to make it work. Why not? Be the best you you can be and surround yourself with OQP. Only quality people. You'll find you'll grow your business faster. You'll get success faster. If you surround yourself with people who are doing it already, who are confident to do it, and who are not afraid to step out and say, hey, I'm doing this. <coughs> Excuse me. I have been sneezing off and on all morning. I apologize. I was hoping I could not get through this without sneezing. But, of course, I did not do that. Okay, friends. This is for your benefit and yours alone. Share this with anyone who you think can have this that will help them. Put it in your own words, whatever you. 
<coughs> excuse me, whatever you want to do. I give you permission to use my OQP, Only Quality People presentation. And again, tweak it to use it for yourself and for your team. Okay? And I encourage you to keep growing. Learn something new every day. Why not? That's the way it should be. Okay? Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. It's down here at the bottom. And like and share. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.